You want to be in my thumbnail? Yes. <laughs> Stop it. Just love me. Pretend that you like me. guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel today is a nice cozy rainy day I'm actually like freezing I even have like a blanket it's so cold today but you know I mean <laughs> I'm here for the vibes I'm here for the rain I won't complain too much I am excited though we are getting heating in our house oh I am excited because we're supposed to get heating in our house next week so fingers crossed that all goes well and then I will have air conditioning next summer and heat this winter. It'll be fantastic. But that's not why we're here. So today I am doing the Fear the Booktuber tag. This was created by David's book reviews. And I was tagged by Jay over at Luna's Library. I will leave her video down below as well as David's channel and original video down below so you can check them both out. Let's just jump right into the first question. What is your deepest, darkest fear? I have plenty I'm sure honestly like the first thing that came to mind um, because I'm being tormented right now is spiders I don't like spiders they give me the heebie-jeebies it's not like I'm scared of them but like I don't like them and they make me really uncomfortable especially their legs Ugh, ew, hate it there is currently one in like the bathroom corner that keeps tormenting me it's kind of rude but like whatever it's fine I also recently, not recently, I've always known that I was afraid of heights, but as I've gotten older, the symptoms that come along with heights has gotten much worse. Um, recently we went to a musical, we went to see Hamilton, and we sat at the very top, leaning kind of over the crowd to see down at the stage, and I was anxious and sick the entire time we were up there. It was really not a fun time. Wasn't wasn't here for it. But I yeah, I don't like heights very much. There's a lot of things that I'm scared of, but at the same time like I think that I'm fierce and can handle anything the world throws at me. Like bury me underground, I'll find my way out. It's fine, but also don't because it's terrifying. So something in my brain like senses fear because I have anxiety I'm scared of everything but yet like when I hypothetically think of these scenarios I'm like oh yeah I c I'd be fine in a slasher like I would totally win as if like I have any capable powers or skill in any way shape or form the second qu the, blah, blah, blah. the second question is the scariest book you've read this year and a new favorite author so for scariest book that I read I picked two Neither of them scared me. There hasn't really been a book that like made me scared, but both are great options. The first one is Pen Pal by Dathan Arbach. Uh, uh, I hate saying his last name. Arbach? Arbach. Anyway. Um, this is a creepypasta story, so if you're familiar with creepypasta, it was kind of like... It's... It's kind of like a scary story form, for, forum, forum, there we go. It's like a scary story forum. So if you're not into that kind of stuff, it's definitely set in the real world. If you enjoy true crime, you might like this. It's hard to like broadly recommend. There's nothing like super scary about it but it is like an uncomfortable present throughout the book that you're just like what's going on and you're puzzling these pieces with the author who's self-inserting um I don't think I don't know if this is based off a true story seeing as it's a creepypasta I'm assuming not but it's still freaky and uncomfortable and scary and like people die so it's not fun <laughs> by any means definitely a scarier story and the other book I really want to talk about just because I'm obsessed uh The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson who would have thought I would like Tiffany D. Jackson so freaking much if you're gonna read this get the audiobook the audiobook production is next level if they had this kind of production for White Smoke I probably would have enjoyed it more but damn 
um, The Weight of Blood is so good. It is a carry retelling, but with a black protagonist. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. And that's really all I need to say. It's a carry retelling. That's all you need to know. Um, it's set in modern day, but like racism is real. It's scary. The ending is just so fantastic. I just, everything about it, it just gave, gave so much. And as for my favorite author for this year so far, horror wise, I'm gonna go with Jennifer McMowan. McMowan? She's the author of The Children on the Hill, which I recently read and really enjoyed. She's got a pretty extensive backlist and I'm really excited to see what more she has to offer, if she deserves the love and the hype that I've been giving her, because I really enjoy The Children on the Hill. I would recommend that. That's a Frankenstein reimagining, retelling, inspired work. Inspired is probably the better word, but that was really good. I, yeah, so, so far she would be my new favorite horror author. I definitely need to step up on my horror game. I feel like I've been wanting to read a lot and then just like haven't, so. <laughs> the next question, question number three. What novel or series are you scared to read? And this can be any genre, and I'm gonna be real with you. I'm so scared of reading Sarah J Maas, like. She's right up there, she's right up there. Um, I have Crescent City, not ready. I still would like at some point to buy Akotar, like that whole series, and Throne of Glass, but like, they're big, they're chunky, um, there's a diehard fandom behind Sarah J Maas, and like, I just, what if I hate it, and then everyone hates me, and then I'm like, kicked off of the book community. I know not everybody loves it, so like I'm not actually worried about it, but like people have so much love for those series that I want to also love them, and if I don't, I'm going to be sad. The other author <laughs> I wanted to mention, um, any Stephen King, because his books are gigantic and I'm terrified. Also Babel, because it's staring me down right now. I'm so sorry, RF Kwong. I will read it. I promise. I'm just it's so intimidated. <laughs> Any book over like 400 pages scares me. I'm a slow reader. Big books intimidate me. It takes me much longer than I wish it would. Um, and I'm super cocky for no apparent reason. And I think that I can like read big books in like seven hours just fine. Not possible for me, but yet my brain still says like, no, you can totally do it. Just, just do it. Question number four, a frighteningly good author you think deserves more attention on booktube. I'm gonna go with Keelan Patrick Burt. We already have established my love for Keelan Patrick Burt, who also follows me on Instagram, just to like brag a little bit. He is an Irish author who does a lot of horror novellas. And let me tell you, I've not been disappointed. The only one that I don't like love is the first book in the Timmy Quinn series and I haven't continued yet. I do plan to but it's a coming of age horror and I'm just like not as likely to pick that up whereas something like Sour Candy or Dead Leaves is a bit more adult and I can enjoy it better. But I didn't dislike the Timmy Quinn. I just didn't love it as much. But anyway, I think he deserves more hype. I read him last... no. Wow, I started reading him this year. That's crazy. I started reading him technically last year, but I didn't finish Dead Leaves until like early January. But I started reading him this year and I've absolutely fallen in love with every work that I've read. I have plans to read more soon, I hope. And I was really excited when, I think it was earlier this year, a lot of people started reading Sour Candy and I was like, yeah! reading Keelan Patrick Burke <laughs> and um yeah it just makes me really excited because I really enjoy his work so the next question is my favorite scary movie and 
I'm gonna be a little basic. Um, my, like, number one favorite scary movie, I would have to say, is The Ring, because I loved that movie from a young, young age. That was one of the first horror movies I think I watched, and I remember many a times making my friends in, like, elementary school and middle school watch it with me in my garage. We'd, like, make a fort and then put the, like, blankets over the really tall TV and we watched The Ring, like, all the time. Like, that was the go-to movie. But I also really enjoy the Insidious franchise, the Conjuring franchise, anything Bloomhouse? Is that their... Is that their name? I don't remember. I think it's Bloomhouse. The creepy girl in the corner, the, like, little light. You know what I'm talking about. The producers. Uh, I, I really enjoy, like, any movie they put out. I think they also did uh, Happy Death Day. That's another, like, that's my favorite slasher. wouldn't consider slashers horror quite as much, but yes. Those are the ones that I like. Number six. Whose channel produces the scariest videos? Gavin over at How to Train Your Gavin just posted a staying the night at a haunted castle where he did some ghost hunting stuff and I'm not gonna lie, I got a little spooked. Also just like his content in general is sometimes questionable and depending on how you take uh, scary, you could apply it to different videos, so. <laughs> In the most sincere, genuine, out of love way, Gavin. <laughs> the next question, and I love these kinds of questions, a horror tuber, I haven't heard that lingo before, but a horror tuber whose subscriber count is terrifyingly low. I just recently discovered Michelle's Melancholies channel and I've been enjoying that, so I would definitely recommend her. I, yeah. Yeah, Michelle's channel. I will link it down below. Question number eight, if you were to meet Pennywise, what character, fictional character or creature would he turn into? And throwing it back to Keelan Patrick Burke, Sour Candy. Those little like alien demon, I don't even know what they are still. That book kind of confused me, but in like the best way. The thing on the cover, I'll put the picture here. I don't normally show you books and tags, but like, that thing no even the kid no any no <laughs> no that book didn't scare me per se but it certainly didn't make me feel safe and comfortable like ugh, no no and the final question is a book that scared you so much it gave you nightmares and or made you uncomfortable i have yet to finish this but a thousand percent uzumaki by jinji ito ew <laughs> Ew, I, I have n I'm on like chapter three maybe and no. This whole like spiral obsession thing where like they the bodies are getting cremated and like they're their ashes no. No. It makes me uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie, I went into Jin the Ito and I was like, I'll be fine. It's a graphic novel. It really can't be scary. Like, people that say it's scary just, like, aren't used to, like, scary manga, anime, art, whatever. It'll be fine. No, that stuff's creepy. Like, that stuff's uncomfortable. It's not scary, but it definitely leaves you, like, with this unsettled feeling that you're just kind of like, ugh, no, no, I don't want it. But I will continue reading it. It's, like, 600 plus pages, which is just kind of ridiculous for a manga, but whatever. I'm gonna try <laughs> and enjoy it at least. And the final thing to do is shout out some of the scariest content creators here on booktube. Um, I do have one non-booktube creator that I do want to shout out, Possessed by Horror. She primarily does movies and TV reviews, but occasionally there will be a book video thrown in, seeing as she started reading horror stuff. And I just love that. I already love her channel, um, but now that she's like, every once in a while does like a book review or like her top five horror books or whatever, like, love to see it. But, the, 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 but <laughs> I will shout out a few booktube channels that I really enjoy in the horror 
genre and I will also of course leave their channels linked down below for you to go check them out if you wish to. Um, let's start rambling off the ones I can remember. Aaron Morgan, Riveting Read, Spicy Cats Reads, Bookish Gems, My Girl, um, All Hollow, Hollow, Hollows Ravens, All Hollows, All Hollows Ravens, <laughs> Harpies in the Tree, Trees, Tree, Tree, Singular. And the last one I remember is Tamika's Library. I think that's everyone. I don't follow a lot of horror booktubers, so if you have any suggestions, leave them down below and I will definitely check them out. Especially because I'm trying to get into horror more because I love the genre. I always have a good time with them. I typically rate them pretty high and then I just like won't read them. I don't know what that's about but whatever so yeah that's that's it if there's anybody else I can think of I will also put them in the description but that's who I can think of off the top of my head cool so that's it for this video I started this with one cat and now I have another hi she's just laying in my lap but that's it for the video. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Thanks Luna's Library. Jay, I don't know why I always just go by your channel name. But thank you for tagging me. Thanks David for creating this very fun little tag to celebrate the spookiness. Um, I'm not going to tag anyone specific to do this, but if you want to do it, consider yourself tagged. Tag me in your video so that I can check it out. I hope everyone's having a good time. <laughs> Um, this is going up tonight, I don't know, tomorrow morning, I don't know. I'm like a little behind. Life has happened, but things are looking up again and we're getting back on the grind. So here's your little update, I guess. There will be some double, potentially triple uploads in the next day or two from whenever this is going up. So that I can be caught up and be prepared because it's almost Halloween which means that booktober is almost over and it's a very strange feeling because I don't feel burnt out per se like I'm really enjoying my content um but then like life knocks you down a peg so you're like oh yeah I have other responsibilities besides booktube and reading oops so then you kind of like get distracted and then you have to come back to doing daily uploads and it's a little difficult sometimes so I like the challenge we're gonna finish strong but <laughs> I probably won't be doing this again for a little while until my life cools a bit but yeah that's your little channel update thanks for hanging out thanks for watching I'll see you guys probably later today for my next video if not tomorrow but thanks for watching bye